show. And welcome to On the Patio with Mr. D and Bob. We're going to be doing a whole slew of reviews on products out here on the patio. And this is just to give you some information on these particular items, how they work, if they don't work, all that kind of stuff like that. And uh, after each video down in the comment block, you'll see a link to where the purchase was taking place. And also at the end, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So sit back, enjoy. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Hello and welcome to another edition of On the Patio with Mr. D. Hey, today we're going to look at something kind of different and cool. Uh, it's not very expensive and it's actually as a result of a problem I had with uh, switching over to my iPhone 7, I found out that some of the selfie sticks that are out there that are Bluetooth don't work right and don't operate. You can connect them once and then when you go back to your iPhone, for some reason, the connection didn't hold and it won't reconnect. Well, I found out that uh, there are specific selfie sticks required uh, for the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, and 8, and so on. But I found one, and it's called an Ocean selfie stick, and it has a built-in tripod system here, remote control is here. Uh, this thing extends up to 40 inches. Um, I kind of like it to have one drawback with it. This base here for the tripod really isn't that sturdy, as you can see here, as I lift it up the weight of this thing will set it back down but it acts as a stabilizer anyway so it's not that big a deal one of the things I did when I was looking at this particular selfie stick is I wanted it to have a quarter 20 mount so I could put my whole hem gimbal on it and at the same time take my uh, cell phone and be able to mount it also it has a unique mounting system here it's not a spring actuated mount it's actually a screw actuation and you take this screw right here at the top and adjust it in or out based on how you want to set the thing up. To turn the unit on, you hit this little switch right here. It'll pair automatically. Now what I did find out that these two buttons on my cell phone, uh, when I hit these it actually operates the volume up and volume down. So, I don't know what those buttons they designed them for. And one of the things I got this for is for my uh, iPhone 7 Plus. The one thing I like about this, if you can see here, this screws in, it's not a spring loaded, so you can actually chomp down on this. You just put it in like that, and then just screw it down, lock it into place. And it ain't going that way. You see the quarter 20 mount here on the bottom, and that mounts on the quarter 20 selfie stick itself. So you can just go ahead and mount this thing up any way you want. Now here it is all extended and sitting on its own tripod, which is kind of cool. Now I don't know how sturdy that'll be, but it should work out pretty cool. One thing you can do about this thing is when you want to uh, go vertical with it, you just loosen the thumb screw on the side, get it where you want it, and there you go. You can hold it with the tripod collapsed, and you have your button and remote right on the side, so you really won't have any problem at all with it. And then if you want to switch back to horizontal again, you just get this adjusted where you want to. And there you've got it. You're all set. As you can see here, so it's really, really kind of cool. One of the things I like to be able to do here is, is to control remotely video between the cell phone or my Hohams or anything like that. So this kind of gadget here really really works well and then the added bonus feature of the built-in tripod that you don't have to screw on the the bottom is uh, is really really cool well guys I'm gonna finish up this uh, this review on the let me get that Ocean Ocean I think it's called 
a Ocean selfie stick with built-in tripod and remote, and the remote is removable. One of the things I'm doing right now is I'm actually recording off the iPhone and finish up this review using the iPhone. That's the first time I've ever done that, so we're going to see how that all works. I hope you enjoyed the review. We'll see you on the next one.